What it do, man? How y'all boys feeling right now, man? We good, just chilling. No. Yeah, fast, just chilling. Okay, so where y'all committed to, man? Well, I'm committed to Rutgers University. I just committed last week, actually. Okay, then. I'm committed <coughs> to Florida State University. I just committed July 1st. Okay, that's what's up. So why are you committed to uh, Rutgers, man? What's out there for you? Uh, really just the relationship. Uh, the coaches that mess with me heavy, uh, they really just made sure and they taking care of my family and me and just making sure like they willing to go all out uh, for me and they waited on my commitment so I knew like the love was real there. Most definitely. How about you, Rick? Why FSU, man? Honestly, like there was my first offer and there was times where I'd go visit them and I'd be like ready to commit, but my people's are like telling me to chill. Like a lot of people don't know that like, I was gonna commit a few times. Okay, but the people just wanted me to, you feel me, relax okay. and take my time. So the reason I committed there is really because uh, they was only since day one. Like, okay, I ain't had no name for myself, and when a big school like that come out and get you, it mean they really want you, and they stayed on top of me. Most definitely. Okay. Now, what y'all plan on majoring in? Uh, I plan on majoring in sports medicine. Okay, then. Yeah, I'm going to probably do, like, uh, broadcast journalism, or I'm going to do uh, sports medicine. Okay, then. Okay, then. So what age I started playing football? I, I started playing football actually when I was a Jet, but probably like six. six. Uh, probably a little younger, but like, like five through six though. Yeah, okay. I was like five or six, one of them. Most definitely. So when y'all took it serious, like, when did y'all knew like- I, I really took ball this? serious since like day one. Day one? Cause like, it was something like, as a Jet I had anger problems. So it was like something that I could go out there and just hit somebody and they ain't have to you feel me, get in trouble for it and nothing like that. What's that? I took it serious when I realized like, man, like, you feel me, when you just feel like you like that, like your yeah, confidence yeah. starting to build up yeah. in football, yeah. then like, you feel me, you feel like you could go a long way with it. So that's yeah. when I really started taking it serious. Yeah. So y'all both play um, receiver and DB. Mm -hmm. Who y'all compare your game to in the NFL? Give me yeah. a DB and give me a receiver. That's a good question. Uh, for DB, I, I compare my game to uh, probably Devontae, Devontae Jackson, the corner for the, uh, the Panthers with the dress. He came out of LSU. Okay, I compare my game to him really because uh, speed, like he fast, he a fast DB, nice technique. So that's what I really compare my game to. Yeah. How about your receiver? Uh, receiver, I was like, I switch it up, I compare my game to like really, really like shit, probably like Waddle. Okay, like man. just like a fast guy moving around, around Most the field. Depth. Most depth. How about you, Rick? For DB, I've been comparing myself to J-Ram. Like, okay, at one man. point, I ain't even gonna cap like, on some crazy stuff. I used to say I was J-Ram. <laughs> I don't say that no more, though. I'm yeah. going out, you feel me? Yeah. But not like, J-Ram, he just come out there with confidence. He always talking, and then he love to back his talk up too. Yeah. And he never soft either, so he coming up to make a tackle. So I, okay. I feel like I compare myself to that. What's that? Okay. And then that receiver, like, I don't know, when I was a jit, like when I was five, six, and what? I was taken down. Okay, then. I was sliding, but now I'm like, I don't even know. Okay, I'm going to get jiggy though for sure, though. Most definitely. Now, what was your first division one offer? Now, I know yours was FSU. My, was uh, my first division one offer was Pitt, actually. Uh, it was actually on my mom's birthday, so that was the crazy thing. Like, I was just going to school. I had just woke up. I just, I was going to math class. I remember that bit, like, at the back of my head. I was going to math class. Like, Coach Jack tested me. He said, come downstairs, man. So um, I came downstairs. The coach talked to me. He offered me. Then, like, 10 minutes later, I got my second offer. So it just went out from there. Now, what grade y'all was in when you got your first offer? I was in 10th. My first offer was this January. I dropped six on one day. Okay then, now what was the six offers you don't drop? Damn, you caught me on that one. I know the first one was Florida State. I think Miami was in there. Okay then. Pitt was in there, I think. Um, I think Western Carolina was in there. And a few other schools. Okay, most well, definitely. Now I see y'all boys the number one team in Palm Beach County and people out here ducking smoke. How y'all feel about that, man? People not want to put y'all on the schedule. There's a lot of people that be talking crazy on the net. Yeah, no we won't tell y'all that we tried to play them like gardens. They ducked us. The okay. wire wanted like some crazy amount of money to play, and then they weren't even gonna play us this year. They were gonna play us next year. 
Most yeah. They had the same bye week as us. They didn't want to play, so they decided they was just gonna take a bye week instead of playing oh, us. Oh man, that's it. Yeah, no cap. Alright, what teams y'all like to play that's on your schedule? Shit, really like probably like teams really from like down south, like Columbia's Plantation. Yeah. Like all them teams, like teams just like that. Not really nobody down here. You feel me? Okay. Like just teams to get us ready from when we go out the road. Yeah. Now what's your season goal this year, like for the team? What's state. the goal this year? Yeah, really. Go to state. Yeah, really Man, just going to state. It's really like. I don't think a lot of people in Palm Beach believe that we can do it because, you know, everybody's shaming like this, shaming like that. But mm-hmm. with our talent, bro, like, we come together, we're a win, for Most sure. definitely. Now, what's new on offense y'all got? Y'all got any new transfers? Yeah, we got. came on the team, Rick, yeah. but who else came? Like, yeah, we offense? got a, a couple new people. We also got a, a new OC, so okay. really, like, the play calling, like, much Hold better. On, got a new OC? Yeah. 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 Who don't see? He from uh, UMass, Coach Partridge. He Ooh, came he from college, coach. so. Oh, that's something new, because, you know, Coach yeah. Theo's had a yeah. C and mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, he got rid of <laughs> So what's that, man? Now, the rival game, Benjamin, man. How y'all feel about that one? Now, they talking smack. It ain't even a rival, like. Yeah, it won't be no rival this year. It really be, no be like no a blowout, you feel me? It's going to be like, we're going to wake up, mm-hmm. be in school like you used to. <laughs> what's what's the school going to be like? Shit. I like us. Anybody out there, when you watch this, we might put 40 in over. If you like y'all, <laughs> okay. bet whatever, because I like us for the 40. For the 40 ball. What? Okay. We're going to put like 40 up. Okay, then. How about Atlantic, man? That's another team on your schedule. Yeah, they are. about Atlantic? They, they better than Midland for sure. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> they're a pretty uh, good team, but like. If you like y'all, like I report said. Report to the pod. There we go. I like, uh, My DMs I like us. Okay, then. Now. Y'all going to win the first round. Y'all going to win the second round. The third round, y'all going to face Chaminade. Yeah. Man, how y'all feel about that game, man? Honestly, well, that's what, like, really, like, we prepare our whole all season, like, just to get better, like, to compete with them guys, just to uh, train our bodies better, uh, get more stronger, get our technique down pat. That's why, like, we work each other against practice. So when we get against them guys, it's like nothing. So really, we just, like, our whole season, our whole schedule, we should run through that, like, just to really get prepared to uh, go up there. Okay, then. I honestly think that, like, if we all come together and play how I know we can all play, like, and, like, we just all on our game and we keep our head up and never, like, fold on each other, I like us for the win, for sure. Most definitely. Now, Max Prep got them at the number seven team in the country. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't see none of that? Um, no, 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 I'm nah. from the crib. There it go. I'm from the crib. There it go. Now playing with Coach D, man, how's it like playing with Coach D as your head coach? Jack, he really chill, like he really a chill dude. But if you acting crazy, then he own you, man. Like, yeah. Make sure you working too. It ain't no just slouching and doing whatever you feel like. You yeah, uh, for sure. Coach D a pretty a uh, great dude. Like you feel me, like. <clears throat> Coach D, like family, uh, he makes sure he take care of you. Uh, like he gonna stay on top of you. Like if you really see something in you and all that, so. Coach D really a good uh, dude to play under. Most definitely. Now I want to ask y'all something. <clears throat> Palm Beach All Star team plays a Broward County All Star team. Who's winning that matchup, man? I like Palm Beach for sure. Yeah, I like Palm, Palm Beach. Beach. Cause really, a lot of people Sorry. don't understand. They be like, "Well, Palm Beach suck. Palm Beach that." A lot of kids from Palm Beach who don't be getting looked at, like yeah. they be live, and then they take their talent to like Broward or Dade or somewhere like that, yeah. and then they turn up. Now they just got this huge name like that. You was yeah. live when you was down here. Yeah, yeah, like, no If we, if everybody stayed in Palm Beach, we'll run through everything, bro. Okay, then. Now, on that All Star team, who would be Palm Beach quarterback? Like, who y'all think the quarterback gonna be? Shit, yeah, um, who that one? Who that one dude in the city? That quarterback. You like know? right now, or like just right recent? Now. Oh, right now. Right now. I mean, it's a lot of good quarterbacks we're, we're in the city, but out. like right now, that one good quarterback in the city. That one. I know. I know Tyler gonna be there for sure. Okay, Tyler gonna be that Luke gonna be yeah. on there. Uh, I ain't gonna count the Jit Lincoln from uh, Atlanta. Yeah, he, yeah, he pretty he, nice he too. Nice too. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a it's really pretty uh, yeah, pretty couple. Yeah, like yeah, you got good Caleb news out there. Uh, what's his name? Palm Beach Central. Then okay. Jaden from Benjamin. He ain't, he, he ain't no slouch either. Most definitely, man. Now let's speak about the pressure. You feel me? How do you guys handle the pressure as student athletes? I mean, honestly, like, so being a student athlete, 
when you get all the office and stuff, it looked fun and cool on the net, but like it's it's a real stressful process. So it's just something that you got to take up with your family, and like you just got to really sit down. And sometimes you got to tell the coaches like to back off some too, just a little bit. Like you got to set boundaries for yourself. Like if you don't want nobody texting your phone all day, you got to tell the coach like after seven o'clock, don't hit me because I ain't gonna hit you back. Like, Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, shit, about like depression in general, or like just like football wise. In general, because I know like, you lost your mother and everything. Yeah, just depression in general and shit, just like be like just overcoming adversity, like just making sure you keep your family proud. You feel me? Like you got your reason why to keep going. Like really, like um, my reason why is my mom. Like just to keep pushing uh, on and off the field. Like just keep involving what she put in me. So like really, just to make my whole family proud okay. and just like. Depression is just like a lot of adversity, like just overcoming a, a lot of adversity because you're going to face it almost every day. Most definitely. I appreciate that, bro. Now, I'm going to ask y'all, who y'all all time, man? Top three in Palm Beach County that made it to the NFL. Shit. Sure. Who y'all top three, man? Probably. Uh, that made it to the NFL? Yeah. Equan Boda. Equan. Uh, I'll say Matt Elam. Matt, yeah, he was serious. I'll say Bear. Janoris Jenkins. Yeah, I was gonna say the rabbit guy. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the same top three? <clears throat> Hardly. But like we had some guys though like Johnny Dixon was fine. Yeah, Johnny Dixon yeah. was that yeah, crazy. Johnny yeah. Dixon was that man. Yeah. It's crazy. So y'all don't got Lamar Jackson in y'all top three? Or y'all sure. just gonna let Barbara like, keep him? It's just like Lamar is hard though, like Lamar is hard. hard, like man. Yeah. It's just a lot of people in Palm Beach that like like, yeah, true. like even if they didn't make it to the college level, they was trill. Like, mm-hmm. Cephas, I play with the Mac Dwyer. I'm already knowing that boy with trill yeah. though. Like, yeah, but it's people like that that they don't be really knowing like that because they ain't make it to the big stage. Okay then. Now being from Palm Beach, what do you have to tell an outsider that's not from Palm Beach? How Palm Beach like? Palm Shit. Beach, it, it's a lot. It's a lot, bro. Like you, Palm girls, Beach really like. The girls, they be drama sometimes. Like, a lot of them be fighting and all that. Like, I don't go, I don't like all that. Yeah. My, my little, yeah, she, she stay away from all that drama. You feel me? You feel me? I don't like all that. She know I don't. Okay, then. Then, like, with the dudes, you just got to find your circle. Like, everybody ain't rooting for you. Let's get that out of the way. Like, they may be in your face, but everybody ain't rooting for you. Because yeah. they'll turn around and snake you the next day. Most yeah, definitely. no cap. I agree with you. Yeah, agree? I say the same thing. Most definitely. Now, last question, man. Where do y'all see yourself in the next five years? <clears throat> next five years? Uh, really, the lead. Uh, that's what I'm trying to be the next five years. Okay, then. The next five years, I'm going to be in the lead. For sure. I'm going to have my dogs put on. My people going to be in a good crib. You feel me? We're going to be living nice. Most definitely. Yeah, no cap. Now, one, one, more, one more serious question. If you guys do win states and beat Chaminade, do you guys think y'all deserve to be the number 10 team in the country? Top 10 in the country? Oh, we got to. Yeah, most definitely. Y'all, y'all think y'all do. Y'all beat them. Y'all gonna be top beat 10 them, in the country. If we, de- if we beat them and they don't race, they cry. No, they cry. Yeah. They, 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 they green. Yeah, yeah, no cap. How we be the top team and we'll get right down. Yeah, facts. Right. Right, once again, man, I appreciate y'all boys for coming, man. Most definitely. Y'all boys kind of luck this season, man. Most definitely. Appreciate that. Right, what's up? Put one right there, man.